Want to know why? Ask how. Howard the Humongous. Today, June 29th, 2018, America's intelligence agencies leaked a chilling fact. There is unequivocal evidence that North Korea is increasing its production of nuclear weapons. In other words, Donald Trump did not return from his meeting with Kim Jong-un in June in Singapore with what he claimed, the denuclearization of North Korea. He returned with North Korea moving its nukes and missiles to the production line, to the mass production line. Donald Trump returned with greater danger to America, not less. Now we have a NATO summit coming up in Brussels July 11th and 12th, followed by, of all things, a Vladimir Putin summit in Helsinki July 16th. These summits promise to be a replay of Donald Trump's June performance of the G7 summit in Canada, where he insulted every one of our allies and diminished the alliance to almost nothing. This is the, that was followed by his meeting with Kim Jong-un in Singapore. In other words, in the upcoming meetings, Trump will trash our allies and he will cozy up to the dictator. Trump will come home claiming to have achieved peace in our time, very much like Neville Chamberlain did in 1938. But what Trump will actually achieve is the destruction of America's world leadership, the destruction of America's power. But here's the trick. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un do not have to deceive Donald Trump in order to turn Donald Trump into a puppet. Trump is a master of deceiving himself. He is a delusional narcissist. That's why he believes he can go into a Putin summit totally unprepared. He is the magical messiah. Or as he said before he went to North Korea, I don't have to prepare. I've been preparing all my life. Then there was what he said a few months earlier. I'm the stable genius. In a sense, Donald Trump views himself as a divine, or to use his word, sacred. Remember, his talking about the sacred election, his election? Every sentence he utters, he believes, is truth. Why? Even if it contradicts a sentence he's uttered the previous day. Because he said it. Everything he says is true. Everything that disagrees is fake, phony, a lie. Back in 2016, Vladimir Putin's goals were mapped out in a book from the Center for Strategic and International Studies, a very highly regarded group. I regard them very highly. The book was the Kremlin Playbook. Before the 2016 presidential election, Vladimir Putin wanted to create divisions so great in American society that they would disable the USA. And even more important, Putin wanted the destruction of the Western alliance. The alliance that gives America its global power. These aims sounded impossible way back two years ago. But Vladimir Putin has gotten everything he aimed for no matter how impossible. Everything he laid out a budget to undermine us with his cyber propaganda. Everything he paid for in that budget. He's gotten it. it whoops. <laughs> Bear with me. He's gotten it all thanks to Donald Trump. It doesn't matter if Trump's presidential campaign colluded with Vladimir Putin. Trump is colluding with Vladimir Putin right now, and he's doing it in plain sight. 
He's doing it under your nose and mine. Donald Trump is a classic Russian dupe, a pawn, a patsy. What's a Russian dupe? It's a concept from the 1950s. Right-wingers, conservatives, threw it around all the time. They aimed it primarily at folks on the left. It is A Russian dupe is someone who carries out Moscow's wishes without even knowing he or she is doing it. And Donald Trump will do Vladimir Putin's bidding no matter what. Why? Why did Donald Trump knuckle under to Kim Jong-un? Why is Trump about to knuckle under, under unto, to Vladimir Putin? Why is Trump giving America's power away? Why is he cutting the sinews and tendons of our nation's strength? Why is Donald Trump the dupe of the deal? Let me repeat that. Donald Trump is the dupe of the deal. Trump wants to join the pack of schoolyard bullies, or as he describes them, the strong leaders who are smart. He wants to join the pack of dictators. Trump doesn't want to join as number one or number two. He's willing to join as number three. In this rare and exceptional case, Donald Trump has humility. Why? Because Trump feels like the newcomer in the pack, the rank amateur. He wants validation from the already established bullies of global politics. The top bullies are Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping of China. But Trump is also anxious to be accepted by lesser bullies, like Recep Tayyip Erdogan in Turkey and Kim Jong-un in North Korea. There's a ghastly bottom line to Trump's childish craving for acceptance by the bullies. Trump wants to be part of the axis of evil, a phrase that George Bush threw across your plate and mine. Who are the axis of evil? China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, Syria, Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua. Old American enemies, most of them current American enemies. Turkey is thrown in for good measure, and Trump, Trump wants to join, in other words, the axis of the authoritarians. In the process, Donald Trump is destroying the system that gives America its strength, the Western alliance. Donald Trump is single-handedly making America small again. Put that on your hat. Make America small again with Donald Trump, the fattest, smarmy, bastard who is destroying your values and mine. And while he's at it, as I said, Trump is trashing America's values, including democracy. May the forces of evolution and the universe fuck Donald Trump. This is Howard the Humongous speaking to you from the future. It's your job and my job to make. Or, who could smile? after this thought. Nonetheless, want to know why? <laughs> Ask how! And now for the sleazy, slimy, seditious little off button. <laughs>